Well, as many people know, Hurricane Milton came through Florida and many people headed to Orlando to hunker down, as they like to say here in Florida, to ride out the hurricane. And the Disney parks were closed, but they will still allow hotel guests that already had reservations to stay in the hotels. And when this goes on, some of the things are a little bit different. They bring in cast members. They have a lot of things to do at the hotels and resorts uh, to keep people occupied. And then like they did have a curfew where people weren't allowed to you know, basically leave their rooms after like 830 when the storm was coming through. So they do some precautions. Uh, and, and take some measures whenever they do have hotel guests during a storm that they stay safe. And, uh, you know, if they need a, you know, I suppose if something drastic were to change with the weather, they would then, you know, get people to a different spot that would be safe, things like that. But uh, one of the things that I happened to see over here on Daily Beast was some people, mostly on TikTok, were basically saying Disney was price gouging as one of the things that they will do during a storm like this is offer like food kits like you know supposed to be not as expensive that you can have in your room uh, because you know you're stuck in your hotel room and you can't leave to go get food like uh, elsewhere on property or outside of Disney property so I figured let's read through this and I'll get some thoughts on it to see if this is actually true if a Disney was price gouging in this way so hi, I'm Jared with Caption Magic, and again, this is the Daily Beast, and they said Disney Resort under fire for hefty price of PB&J sandwich kits amid Hurricane Milton. It says, I guess stranded at Disney World during the catastrophic storm posted a viral TikTok highlighting the sandwich offering alongside discounted Disney-themed board games. And it says Disney is taking heat for selling a $10 peanut butter and jelly sandwich kits to guests stranded at one of its Orlando, Florida resorts amid the Hurricane Milton threat, which made landfall, blah, blah, blah. A viral TikTok posted by one guest marooned with Disney World highlights the kits replete with jars of peanut butter and jelly and a loaf of bread and plastic utensils, prompting some commenters to praise the offering as thoughtful and many others to criticize its hefty price tag. Says, I was thinking, how sweet, wrote the commenter, uh, at Alessandra Racanelli, maybe, perhaps, sorry if I messed that up, uh, then saw they were charging $10. Uh, somebody said it should be free, said uh, lovely Lexi95. The video also appeared to show that the resort was selling its Disney-themed board games for a special mid-hurricane deal of 25% off, presumably so that guests will have a way to pass the time. Okay, and then the question comes, you know, basically they were offering these PB&J kits for $10. Is it price gouging? Now, first off, We've talked about on this channel and many other people talked about Disney's price hikes and things being more expensive. So, you know, I'm not saying that Disney doesn't have expensive things, but in this case, um, you know, I think A, they know it would be a bad look to really price gouging, but B, they're not price gouging on this. So I looked this up. I was curious. So if you go off of name brands, so it looks like in there you have Jif, you have uh, Smuckers, and then a loaf of bread. If you look up the prices, and I just went to Walmart's website to look this up, you can go check it out yourself. It may be a little different per area, but at least down here in Florida, peanut butter is $3.12. The jelly is $2.97, and bread is $2.92 a loaf, which the total is $9.01. So $10, I wouldn't say it's price gouging. I think they're probably making some money on it because they can buy a lot of this stuff in bulk, but it's not price gouging in that way as if you were to go to the store to get these things, it would be similarly priced. I mean, some places could be even more expensive if you go to, let's say, Publix or other grocery stores. If you did go off-brand, like, say, the Get the Great Value brand at Walmart, peanut butter would be $1.94, the jelly $2.74, the bread would be $1.42, so your total there would be about $6.10. So in this case, uh, Disney is not price gouging. I mean, I'm sure they made money on it, but $10 for all of that really isn't that bad compared to if you went to a convenience store it likely would be even more expensive than that. You know, they put these in here as a convenient way for people to, you know, have stuff to do while they're in the resorts. Because, you know, we, like, again, we stayed at Cabana Bay during Ian. So, like, you do get bored when you're just riding out a storm sitting in your room. So, they offer other things to do. Uh, now, in terms of some people saying it should have been free, you know, and I think in situations like this, it just kind of comes down to, I guess, what do you expect? You know, having, you know, we cover the parks a lot and we cover Universal. Like, I just don't expect them to hand these things out. Just even during a storm like this, that would be a for free thing. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't believe they should. And if it was me personally running the hotels, you know, and you're talking about not only in that moment, but say like a brand management, a brand reputation thing, you know, I'd probably say, hey, let's just eat the cost of these. And like, at the very least, you don't have to give everybody a kit maybe, but, you know, you have something in the in the lobby that's just handing out pre-made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for people to say, hey, you know, here's something that if you, you know, you're hungry, you, you know, we know that this is a, a tough situation, you know, here's some food and, and it is on us. And it's, it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So if you're handing out, you know, four per room or something, 
it's not going to cost you much money in, in that way. And then if you decide, hey, you, you can buy the kit as well if you want to bring more back to your room. And it's, you know, it's, hey, it's about what you'd pay if you went to the store. But either way, you just wanted, you know, we wanted to do this as a gesture for being a guest at our resort. I do think that would be a really smart thing. Uh, and I think it would, A, makes you seem like that you do care. And then also it kind of goes against the, the, you know, the reputation as of late, which is like always charging for things, overcharging, price hikes, things like that. So, while I don't think it's price gouging at $10, I do think a better move would have been having some sort of food that you do hand out to people just as a goodwill gesture. And then also, if you want more, you know, we'll give you one per person. But if you want more, here's some more you can get at a reasonable cost. And, uh, you know, we're here with you. We're in this together. You know, we're going to take care of you. I do think that would be a really smart move to do, in my opinion. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's stories in the 90s that they used to do stuff like this during a hurricane. But you know, modern day Disney's a little bit different as we've talked about a lot on here, but I do think in terms of a goodwill gesture and, and something that could really help uh, uh, people view Disney better, I suppose, in terms of the way that they're viewed right now with their price hikes and things like that. I, yeah, I think offering some of this stuff for free in a way would be a good gesture. And I think a lot of people would be, you know, feel very thankful. And uh, I think it might change the way that they're perceived a little bit. And, uh, you know, they do other things. I will say that the resorts do a great job during the hurricanes and storms that do come through as they bring in characters they have things to do there was uh i did see something where one of the bartenders at uh, i think it was bar reva one of the bars at disney world forgive me i can't, can't remember which one he brought board games from his house because you know he was going to be there and they brought it in so people could have things to do like play board games and things while they waited it out like when we were at Cabana Bay, they had, you know, hula hoop contests. They were doing things with the kids, games, trivia, uh, you know, people just hanging out. And, it's, you know, it's Florida during a hurricane. Many times it kind of turns into a hurricane party in many sense. But either way, being at $10, you know, it's kind of in line with what you would pay if you went to the store to get these things. But either way, though, that's going to be it, though, for this video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel as we do lots of coverage here of Disney World, Universal Studios, Epic Universe, and Pop Culture. And let's on the comments, do you think that this was price gouging at $10 for a PB&J kit for people that were riding out Hurricane Milton? And until next time, we will see you in the parks.